okay now we are in the new deposits so first thing I will tell you that I organized the project little bit so everything like script has script folder script has in script folder and prefabs has a prefab folder and next thing I already created three scenes as I tell you like three scenes not pretty much different from each other but just simple changes they are clone of their one so small changes with small changes let's go back to the our first scene so what I'm going to do uh, first start by creating a game over screen now game over screen is going to be a UI object so create a right click UI and create a first canvas so I'm going to separate the canvas and let's name the canvas uh, game over screen next thing I'm going to also going to give some I'm going to give a uh, tag here game over save And in the in the UI scale mode, just make a scale which means actually going to change with the size of the screen, and just change to the height, match the height. Then right click here, we're going to UI text. I'm going to create a text object here. Yeah, so game over screen with instead of screen space overlay, I'm going to screen space camera. It's going to find our for camera, camera just do scene and main camera. Here, if you look closely, there's a one text object came here. It's pretty small, so maybe you can't see this. Go to text, and we're going to name it. In here, I'm going to first change the font size. So let's go to the default font area. So we don't have any extra fonts. So let's first. I'm going to pull one font that is downloaded from the Kenny Switch store. So there's a very fonts I have. So let's do, okay, drag and drop the Kenny Mini Square one. I'm going to drag and drop the Mini Square one. Here it is. Now it's come here. And in the now I'm going to choose this drag and drop this font into the font one. Now it's going to automatically change the font size. So let's first make it darker so you can see this. Okay, now maybe you can you can see this new text here. Now time for drag. Let's hide this virtual camera for now and also the main camera. So we can mainly focus on this one. Now I'm going to drag and drop this. Uh, first let's select. Select alignment to the center and also your center. Increase this by 300 by 50. I also increase the font size. So I'm font size. I'm going to choose the best fit. It's automatically change the font size according to the screen size. And then I'm going to type here game over. You can also change the color depending on your needs. So I'm going to change this to this to what color going to look good. Here I'm going to look to the white one. Also let's start let's move upward slightly by 50 or 80 here. Now I'm going to right click here. We'll get two buttons that going to start or it's a leading to the main menu this button so here going to create a one button here let's make the normal color to alpha to zero so it's going to look transparent and also highlight it like somewhat here press curl somewhat here and selected one here okay next thing let's go to the button text also to do it to the same select the Kenny S Kenny fonts and then I would type Restart. I'm going to make the color white so you can see one. Let's make it best fit. Also, going to increase the button size by 200 by 50. Also, going to give the game. Okay, I will go to give the game more by 100 by 500. So basically, okay now, okay nice. Now let's do 
Okay, let's first rename this. Rest start. I'm going to duplicate this one and name this main menu. I'm also going to change the text now. Main menu. Let's move somewhat downwards. Uh, minus 60. You can say or minus 100. Minus 50, I think, great value. 75. Okay. Okay, now the main menu text for the working. Now, if I could play this game and if I try to hover this, you can say it's restart and main menu is coming up here. So this is a pretty nice thing. Now we need to make this button functioning. So first let's enable the cam of no camera and also disable this height to the game or screen. Then I'm going to create a right click here for empty game object. Reset this transform and let's name it and this right click here. Uh, let's name it management script you can name anything you want create and add it now let's open this in the visual studio okay now every time remember that uh, every, any time you work with the scenes you need to include a one line up here like that is This will allow to use the scenes of this scene of our game, and that we can now connect this with this. Now, delete both matters, we, we don't need this. Then, instead of this both matter, create a custom matter public void. Make sure this going to void so we can exit this matter outside from the screen. So, we need to call this matter from our button. So, restart. And simply in the restart, we go to type scene manager dot load c and here we can simply give the build index or or the one better thing we can do is typing scene manager is going to be lengthy for scene manager dot get active scene dot build index now simply what we're going to do is going to find the active scene according to the build index and if i'm going to play go back to unity the game was been uh, let's go to start one and if you go to on click we we go to press uh, press button and here we drag and drop our scene manager and so no functions go to see my screen and there we got a restart function here just click on it and if I go into play ok not going to work right now we need to first enable the game object now I want to show this one thing now if I go to play this if I say, as soon as click to start, it's going to restart the scene again and again. So we can use this function to restart the scene. Now let's hide this game over screen and try to display this game over screen when players die. So in order to be going to open up our health manager script. So go to scripts and we go to player health. In player health, we need to first create a reference for our Now in the y start function game over screen is going to equal to the game object dot get object find object with tag and tag is going to be let's check okay we do give the game over tag here that we created game over okay down here if we yeah, we need to also need to show this game over screen. So here we simply call to is game over screen dot set active true. And by default we also need to make sure that game over screen dot set active false just to check it. And if you're going to play, you can just enable this game over screen and after going to play this. It's automatically going to be set active false. Disable this. And now if I'm going to 
just to actually jump the water or try to decrease our my health. Okay, now if as soon as I die, I got a restart but game over screen and I just click on the restart button and see the game never going to restart again.